Hey everyone, Kyle once again, and welcome back to another movie review, and like I said, now we got uh, our next movie review I was going to review, and that is, uh, this is one of my second favorite film from Jet Li, because I reviewed my favorite one, Unleashed. This one is definitely is also just as uh, good, also as good as, also as Unleashed, and that is of Kiss the Dragon, Kiss of the Dragon, released in 2001, um... It's directed by Chris Nohan, which he hasn't gr done much though. But um, but the screenplay is but the screenplay. Well, there's two people in the screenplay. Robert Mark Kamen, which he's I know he's done some stuff on other written films, of, written on other films too. But um, Luke Besson, who uh direct who uh, directed other other French films like um the Fifth El well the Fifth Element, Leon the Professional, including Lucy and and um. Uh, Valerian, the City of a Thousand Planets. He wrote the screenplay as well as produced it. And Jet Li also produced the film. And it's also based on a story by Jet Li, too, as well. So, it's nice. But uh, I really do enjoy Kiss of the Dragon. It's a really another great action film for Jet Li. But um, it, it, this film and Unleash are two are two best films for me. But Unleash is my favorite. A lot of his fast action and, like, Fisticuffs with how he kicks those people's butts in the movie, and I I enjoy I enjoy Morgan Freeman. Carrie Condon was good as well. Bob Hoskins may rest in peace. He was a good bad guy as well. Very one good bad guy. But um, but he also got another good villain right here in this film, um, played by um, Chucky Curio, who is this? Uh, we, he's also been in other other uh, films as well. That I've seen him in as well. I know he was in the core, he was in the film the the core with Aaron Eckhart. He had a little role in Operation Dumbo Drop. Um, he was in the Patriot with Mel Gibson. He's been in some other films I've seen. So, but he played a good bad guy here. He plays as this, uh, this he's this uh, French cop that is after Jet Li. And uh, Bridget Fonda, our, who is this um, American uh, American girl prostitute though, but she's forced into it, you know, by the. The, the inspector Richard, played by Chicky uh, Cario, and she has a little. She has a daughter as well. That's why uh, she wants to do this because she also she gets she has a daughter doing this for a daughter, but but she hasn't seen her in a while, in a while though as well. But the story is very simple. Uh, Jet Li he plays a cop in China. He co he goes down to he goes to Paris, which is I like. It's a lot of it shot in the Par location of Paris. Uh, I, so I do like that. And um, he goes. He goes to Paris to, uh, with this um, this this uh, this uh, case of this uh, Chinese. I think it was a Chinese mob boss named Mister Big, and he's he assists uh, Ch 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 Curry and it's an assist in it, and um, the mob boss uh, it gets brought in by um, this hotel and. When Jet Li is introduced to Chucky Cario, he's immediately beating the crap out of somebody, and he also has these some other men, two, including these other two blonde twins. Uh, one's a little bit bigger, one's a little bit smaller, though. And he's there for for assist for assistment and uh, assist assistance. And Bridget Fonda and this other girl, two prostitutes, are are brought in and brought to the room, and the guy asks. Uh, Ask everyone else to leave, and then the the one of the prostitute, not Bridget Fonda, because she because she went in the bathroom because she was puking, and the the prostitutes are stabbing the mob boss, and and then uh, Jet Li he rushes he rushes in there try to help the the guy, but then uh, Chucky Ch Curio's Inspector Richard, he comes and shoots the guy dead, and also the prostitute as well. And now you know the another Jet Li. He he's he's been brought into this. Now he starts shooting at him, but he escapes. Uh, tricks of uh, the uh, the police officers, and he steals the 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 cassette that has showed him recording of the inspector shooting the boss and the girl as well. So he has that for evidence. And I like it. It's very well done action sequences. Some good shooting sequences, but also um, some good uh, ac Jet Li action where he fights the. the the people, um, the cops, uh, like he in this laundry room where there's ironing boards, and he's hitting one with the, with irons, including 
pressing two together against one guy's face. And then he goes, he goes into the laundry shoe where Chikikirio is, like, shooting, but also he sets the, the laundry shoe on fire, actual fire, not CG fire. Because they want to, because, um, and this, they want to focus on more on the realistic fights instead of using, like, CG or wire food they've used in other martial arts films. But, um, I do, I, I do appreciate the usage of fire, and, like, <laughs> where they get, where he gets a grenade... And Jet Li catches it and throws it right back and goes right into this one guy's um in his uh, sleeve under here. And the Chikario doesn't give a doesn't give a damn. He's, he just shoves a guy in the in the laundry shirt and he blows up at half, like half his his like his lower half just falls down. <laughs> so that doesn't really shows how what a ba uh, say the word bastard as you say, a bastard what Chikario is. And when he finds out when and I like his his response when he finds out that he um all the tastes were destroyed except for the one that Jet Li took. He goes, "Fuck!" <laughs> so Chuck 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 Curio, Curio he was a he was a he was a fun bad guy as well. And then um he and Jet Li holds up in the place where he's like residing with this um other Chinese guy um calls him like his well I say he's not he's he's, he's he's his uncle but but he's actually the guy who he's he's riding with uh, the uncle. Uncle, what was the guy's name? Uncle, Uncle Ty. It's actually play. It's actually he's played by the guy. Um, he's the guy who plays uh, uh, Kato from the Pink Panther movies. You know, with uh, Peter Sellers and Spectre Cluzo. You know, his uh, his friend uh, Kato is like, sigh. They're always like fighting each other, especially from. My favorite, um, um, the, the Pink Panther uh, Strikes Again, where they just made a complete mess out of his entire apartment, you know. Sa! Ah! <laughs> or it was like, and then uh, Pierce Harris' inspector closed, I was like, it's the phone. The phone is ringing. And then he goes and turns out a wax cake, a Kato in the, <laughs> in the head. Yeah, that's him. That's the guy who plays in Kato from the Pink Panther films. He plays as the older Chinese uh, guy who's uh, that Jet Li's been staying with. It's like, oh, that's him. Yeah, I forget. <laughs> yeah, because the Pink Panther films were, were a while, you know, so. <laughs> but, um. And then the Chinese ambassador is talking with the. With the, with the French cops and the other uh, person, I forget the other guy, but, um. The, but his assistant, um, Jet Li. He gets like an emergency phone to talk to the guy, like before he takes out these two co these two French officers with the. He has this little this, this wristband here has like these acupuncture needles sticks into the two guys and they cannot move, which I, I like. I like those a different take on a, a cho choice of weapons that he uses. These acupuncture needles, as you stick it into them, they don't move. But until the end of the movie, which gets the took Cario, which I'll get to. So. Kelly tells him he has the evidence, and then uh, goes and meets with a guy. But before he meets with uh, Bridget, first uh, she meets with Bridget Fonda. Like he's in, he's eating, and Bridget Fonda is like, "Oh, I need to use, I need to use a toilet." And he's like, "No," and Bridget Fonda, it's like, "Oh yeah, I treat my dog act like a dog. I'll be right here." It's like, "No, no, 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 go ahead." And then um, he goes, and then he passes, he pat, she passes out for a second. And she says, "Like, how was I out? <laughs> Only for a minute." Um, and Bridget Fonda, um, which, um, I know, I liked her in, I liked her in Lake Placid and, um, Single White Female, which this, this was actually one of her last roles that she did before she retired from acting. She, like, she did this film and one other one for that was, like, made for TV, and then after that she just quit acting. So that film and then this film were her last roles, basically, before she retired. Because I was wondering a while back, I was like, why did she ever, uh, why was, um, Whatever happened to her? Oh, it's like, I guess after this film and another thing, she just quit acting. So. But I liked her in Lake Placid, and I liked her in a single white female. Um. And then after which, um. Jet Li meets with a guy on, on this on this ferry boat, and then the guy gets shot after shortly after he gives him the, the cassette tape. And then, uh, the good cops are shooting at him. He. Kicks some, kicks some other guys' uh, butts basically, but he gets away. Um, and he and when he get, heads back to the place, and he gets he gets he got he got injured, and Bridget Fonda comes back, um, st stitches him up, 
and the guy, the one guy, you know, working with the, with the prostitutions, um, comes in and is like, oh, you took it over time, you pay up, it's 500, what was a word for French money, francs, I think it was, and, and when you have to, the guy slaps her, and Jelly's like, excuse me, I would appreciate if you didn't do that again, he does it again, and then Jelly basically bitch slaps him, and it takes out the other two guys, and there's this big guy, and he had that song playing, which I've heard before, um, I heard it in Daredevil, it was like, all the, I was all the gone, quick on the, quick on the draw, no, dirty dog, no, I, I know, I do know a song, so I, I've heard another film, like, one including Daredevil, and I heard it, I heard it in another one, before, uh, forget though, but, um, yeah, he, he, he t- takes him out, then, um, Uncle Ty comes back, but then there's one other guy who comes and shoots, um, Uncle, Uncle, Uncle Ty, and, um, then he goes and take, takes out that guy, a uh, jelly goes, takes his two chopsticks, and just stands right into the guy's neck. And I forgot to mention another, another cool kill, where there's this guy, um, who had these, in the, back in the hotel, when he was escaping from the hotel, these crazy little machine guns start shooting, and then, Jelly, he kicks, um, one of the pool cues, there's a pool table, he k- kicks up one of the pool cues out of the pocket, and he kicks it right into the guy, his forehead and kills him instantly. It's like, oh, that was that's oh, that was that was that was really that was really awesome. You know, just kicks the bullet and just kicks the pool cue right into the guy's head. That was that was that was that was really cool. And then he goes, takes a chopstick and just jams in one guy's neck. And then he take he, uh, him and Bridget Fonda take um uh Uncle Uncle Ty's body, and they say, you know, respect his wishes. So he takes him and um. I guess it gives like a little funeral for him in front of this church, and then that's it. And which brings Bridget, Bridget Fonda also tells him that um, she has a, a daughter as well, and he wants her. Uh, she she wants her back, wants her back, and tells her uh, he, uh, he tells her that he's a cop, and he wish wish she known that, and she she was the one that was in the hotel. So you're the pr- you're the proof that I have, and gives him. In which Bridget Fonda tells him, you know what, you know, it's all, it's all until you care about your uh, cops. Basically, a cop's life is always about their job. I don't care about anybody else except your job and all that. Yada yada. So, and and one and one thing leads to another that uh, she um wants to she wants to get her daughter back from the. But first, but first, um, he needs to get the, he needs to get the that cassette tape back, and she comes with a plan. So it makes Bertie find to go back to uh, Chucky Cario, or Cario, and tells him about uh, Jet Li. Then she gets handcuffed to the pipe. But eventually, she gets into the desk and um, takes back all the tapes and takes that turtle that uh, Chucky Car- Cario uh, had and just releases it. And they go back, go to the, they go to the orphanage where she's at, but um, it was a setup, so gets in, gets into uh, gets into another uh, fight. But um, as they escape, as they escape, uh, Bridget Fonda she gets shot, so he gets uh, takes to the hospital. and He's like, "Someone help me!" Which if you if I, well, how would he screams like that? It's like, "Someone help me!" Kind of it just reminds me when he. Um, when he yelled at Bob Hoskins and Unleashed, you know, when and that during that pool fight, he's like, "No more killing." It's kind of reminds me how the way just way he screams, like from from both things. It kind of reminds me of that he's like, first says, "No more killing," or "Someone help me." <laughs> I don't know why, but it just it just reminds me of that you know we, how he screamed and Unleashed like that. But Jelly, he does a really he does a really great, awesome job, and um, and. Now he now he's now he's now he's just pissed now and he storms the the police station and he gets well, his, he gets gets into this room where it's full of like uh uh guys in training you know like karate uh outfits and and he just he just beats all those guys up just with no problem and it's really well uh well choreographed fight scenes which I give credit to um uh Corey Yoon. Which he did a great job with the action fight scenes, really well choreographed. Just how he just takes all these guys, 
and just takes them all down. And then other fights where the Wii fights those those two twin guys in the in the police station. Um, just like one like does the like the small one just like all the kicks the kicks and stuff. And when the guy does a flip. Gently catches him and slams him to the ground and breaks his neck. Just slams his neck right into the ground and breaks it. And that was a that was a really awesome scene where they just catches him in midair when he's doing a flip and then just goes and slams him down and just breaks his neck. And then the other twin, the other twin guy, sees that and then, but gently he he uh, does like this, like a uh, you know, to the guy's head, you know, like both ears like this, and then just kicks the guy, kicks the guy's head, but. Breaks his neck too as well, and then he faces with uh, with a uh, Chug Cario who's holding the daughter, and he goes he he lets him he lets himself get shot while he takes one of those acupuncture needles, put it right in the back of his neck. He's like, "I got you, yes I know, but I got you too." And he now he can't move, and he's as he sends the daughter out of the room, and he's like, "What did you do to me?" It's a I, I, I stuck a needle in your neck. A forbidden, a forbidden. Uh, a certain, in a certain place, is forbidden. Call it, kiss of the dragon. <laughs> and then two heroes like, kiss my ass. And he's like, all the blood is gonna rush up up to your up to your head, and it never comes back down. And soon you're gonna, you're gonna bleed out of your eyes, well, out of your nose, your ears, even your eyes, and you will die painfully. Then he takes the needle out of him. The guy starts convulsing. He's like, <coughs> and then he's like, he's like, he's bleeding out of his eyes, ears, and his nose and his mouth. And he's like, <coughs> and then just drops dead. And then it ends with uh, Jet Li visit with a uh, Bridget Fonda in the hospital. So, and it's all, and it's all happy ending with him with her with her daughter. See when she sees her daughter and, but uh. I really enjoy Kiss the Dragon. It's definitely another badass film for Jet Li. It's this, this, this film and Unleashed, I really do enjoy. Like I said, Unleashed is my favorite. This is my very close second. Jet Li does such, a, does such an awesome job in this film. Um, for the New York Times here, it says here, A New Standard for Action. And back here, San Francisco, San Francisco Chronicle. Jet Li is the greatest action star in movies today. Well, back well, that's back in 2001 when I said, but he's still a great action star, no doubt about it. He's an awesome. A lot of films I, I enjoy, man. He's just a definitely awesome to watch. Definitely a badass in this film. How he takes up some bad guys are badass as well, like with the pool cue and just slams a guy down with his neck and the chopsticks. Totally, just totally badass. Um, but he did such an awesome job. Bridget Fonda, um,. She was okay in the movie, although a lot of times when she starts like screaming or like, <laughs> I that, that did get to me a little bit. I mean, I think she was like putting on a little too much of the whining part. I mean, but I mean that's not that's not the worst part of acting I've seen. I've seen a whole lot of scenes of other films that are acted out much worse. So, but it, it got to a point where it was like, okay, it's a little bit too much, you know, just calm it down a bit. But, but, but Bridget Fonda, she was not that bad. No, I don't think she wasn't. But it's just like the how they wrote, how they wrote, her, it's how they wrote her character, you know. I just like, okay, just tone it down a bit on the, uh, the screaming or whining down just a bit, and that would have been fine with it. But she, she didn't, do, didn't do that bad of a job. Chuck Cario, I thought he was he was a fun bad guy as well. Um, it was that guy who played um from K Kato from um, uh, the Pink Panther films, uh, what was his name again? Uh, Bert. Yeah, Bert Quonk. Who? Bert, yeah, Bert Quonk, who played K uh, Kato from the Pink Panther films. He was fine as well. It was like, oh, I know, I know, I recognize him. Um, this uh, some of the songs. Uh, well, especially if there was the some of the rap music, which I'm not, I'm not a fan of rap. I am not, but. If it, if it works if it works into the film well like this film did I can let that slide though but I'm not saying I'm not a fan of rap music in general but if it works in a film I can let that go like especially in the sequence when when he was like fighting that big guy in the in the shop or um when he was fighting the two twin guys in the PlayStation 
but the, so it was fine. But uh, I said I'm not a fan of rap personally. But if it, if it works in the film, if it blends in well with the movie, I can let that go. But the rest of the score, I do enjoy. So, but the the action scenes are very well choreographed by by Corey Yoon. Very well done action sequences. Um, although they said they said they they. There was like one scene they used wire wire stunt work and two scenes for CG. For I, I couldn't tell though, but for the most part, it looked pretty well done without the CG or wire stuff because I couldn't tell. But they said they want to go more realistic on the fights and stuff, so which I do appreciate though. But I couldn't tell if there was two scenes that were used for CG or one scene that was like use of wire usage, but I couldn't tell. But um. And uh, Luke Besson, he did a good job with the screenplay. Well, Robert Mark came in, which I know he's working some other films though, but him working with uh, co-working with Luke Besson it was fine. The directing by Chris Nohan, well, especially for the rest of the film, not the action scenes, by that was Corey Yoon. Give credit where credit's due, but um, I think it was did not do that bad job, bad of a job directing it. <clears throat> but yeah, this is definitely a much badass action film for Jet Li. This film and Unleashed. If anyone's not seen this film, anyone was a fan of Jet Li, I'd seriously uh, uh, recommend that you check out Kiss the Dragon. I definitely give it two thumbs up. Same with I do with Unleashed. You know, Chuck Carroll was a good bad guy in this film, and same with Bob Hoskins in Unleashed. Although this is I I love I love Bob Hoskins more than Chuck Carroll though, but because I enjoy Bob Hoskins more as an actor, he's sadly missed though. Plus, he was, he was a lot of fun in uh, Unleashed. Pajamas. Fucking pajamas. Ungrateful little bastard. Where are you? <laughs> but uh, Jet Li, great job. Awesome awesome job in this film. The same with Unleashed. Anyway, that's my review of Kiss the Dragon. Definitely worth a watch. Definitely, if you're a fan of Jet Li, it's definitely badass as well. Thanks, and um, as for features, really quick, as a commentary with the director, Jelly and Bridget Fonda, Jelly featurette, fight choreographer, Corey Yoon featurette, martial art demos, and etc. So I'm, I'm fine with the features on this as well. So, But thanks for watching, and stay tuned in the next movie review, which is what I mentioned in my previous video, this film, and then the comedy classic of Murder by Death. So stay tuned for that, and we'll see you later.